Now, this input is coming from China, where the economic slump is deepening amid, uh, amid prolonged property crisis. The exposure to real estate ha is threatening spillover for financial firms. So, the uh, economic crisis in China is deepening am amid uh, prolonged property crisis and the exposure to real estate is threatening uh, spill over for financial firms. Remember, China is going through an economic crisis and now uh, we're getting reports that it is deepening amid prolonged property crisis and the exposure to real estate uh, threatens spill over for the financial firms. So we're getting you this international news from China where the economic slump is deepening uh, amid the prolonged property crisis. And uh, remember, China is going through uh, an economic crisis and uh, now the exposure to real estate is threatening spillover for the financial firms. So we're getting you this news from China, which is currently facing economic crisis. And we're getting reports that the crisis is only deepening amid prolonged property crisis. And this uh, is uh, exposure to and the exposure to real estate is threatening spillover for the financial firms. Uh, in fact, missed payments on investment products by a leading Chinese trust firm and a fall in home prices uh, have added to the worries that China's deepening property sector crisis is stifling and uh, uh, it, it is stifling what little momentum has in the is left in the Chinese economy. We have CNN News 18, Siddhant Mishra joining us on this story. Siddhant, a very good morning to you. Could you tell us more about this uh, real estate sector crisis that is uh, uh, going on in China? Well, that's right. And it looks like that the economic bubble, the real estate bubble is on the burst in China, perhaps with the filing of the bankruptcy by, uh, by, uh, uh, by this uh, big group, Evergrande, uh, Grande, which has lost $81 billion in the market. You know, it, uh, there is a series of real estate companies defaulting on their loans in China. And, and this looks uh, bad for the Chinese uh, economy because, uh, you know, uh, every country has faced, has perhaps witnessed this situation where real estate market breaks down or, or, or there is a collapse in the entire system. But China is still an emerging economy and if it, it is happening right now. It's a matter of concern for Xi Jinping and his government. At the same time, uh, 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 at the same time, uh, you know, uh, the unemployment uh, 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 rate is all time high, and it has hit a record of 21.3 percent in June. Uh, you know, uh, China has 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 got a lot of uh, uh, China has made a lot of promises uh, in the past with regard to the economy, but this particular uh, uh, development is something which should worry the uh, the communist government, communist regime uh, in China. And perhaps the bankruptcy uh, of this real estate company has been filed uh, uh, in the courts in U.S. and the insolvency court has uh, has entered uh, the matter. Now, uh, uh, it's, it's getting difficult for Beijing to boost uh, the technical abilities of the local industries and the real estate, uh, 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 real estate companies that they have. And perhaps you know, the prices of the real estate projects are falling with each passing day. The government is taking measures uh, to boost the economy by perhaps, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 by pro uh, perhaps providing more currency in the market. But it looks like that none of these, uh, uh, these techniques are working in favor of the government. And, and since it is coming at a time when China is an emerging economy, perhaps, World Bank calls China upper income middle country. So if it, is, it is, if it is happening at this time, then it is surely a matter of concern. And it would be re it right. interesting to see that how the communist regime is going to manage the, this fresh crisis. All but right, Sudan, thank you so much for giving us all those details.